My dad actually played pro in the pro levels in Mexico before moving to the U.S. Then well, he met my mother and my mother was pregnant, so when he came over here, he pretty much stopped his career to follow my mother. Pretty much since I was a kid, my dad always put a soccer ball in front of us and I just got in love with it. We honestly don't come from a good neighborhood. There's six gangs around my neighborhood, so I saw a lot of friends going to jail, a lot of friends that died. You know, it could have been so easy to be part of that, but I was so thankful that I had great parents, hardworking parents, that they kept me away and showed me the right path. Honestly, my dad just pushed us, and I always saw my brother like a good big role model to me, and everything I do is pretty much for them. Everything since I was a kid is, you know, just trying to make my parents happy. Just put a smile on them and then I have younger brothers so I try to be the best role model for them because they're still in the same neighborhood that I grew up so obviously they need, they need to see hope. If I made it, they can make it as well and every day I worry about them, yes I do, but I have great parents and, you know, they show them what's right and what's wrong. The person I am is just being thankful to God every day that I see the day of light and seeing that my family's healthy. That's the main thing for me. Soccer could come last to me, but I still love soccer. That's my passion. That's what I wake up every morning I'm thankful for. And like I said, my parents, is just, they helped me to get involved with soccer, to love it as much. And soccer gave me the opportunity to get away from that community, from that neighborhood. And you know, I'm blessed because I'm out here doing what I love doing and that's playing soccer. So you can't ask for a better thing.